What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode four of our Pokemon Platinum Severely Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we, I think we took on our rival battle and then made it all the way here to Ouroburg City. Losing, catching, those are just minor details, but you do definitely want to go back and check that out by clicking the i-card at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're going to go meet the first gym leader of the Sinnoh region, and uh, hopefully, hopefully bulk up our team a little bit. So if you're excited for that, make sure to hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the Domination. Now, uh, the last episode, I was coming down with sickness, my voice was dying, and I, I was trying to get an episode, but the sickness got a whole lot worse, which is why there couldn't be a Thursday, Friday episode. Uh, but we're here now. I hate taking off episodes in the main series, and it had to happen on the first week. So I apologize for that. But I want to get the hype going for this. So if you do wind up enjoying, please make sure you hit the like button and leave the comment of the day. And if you want to go even above and beyond, share out this series on Twitter. You can do that by finding my Twitter and just retweeting my tweet for this video. However you'd like to do it. Help grow this to being the, the, the best, the biggest and best series on the channel. Yeah, I would really appreciate that help. Let's go ahead and start off with a team recap real fast. <clears throat> first up, we have Manali, our level 12 Dark Rock type Rhydon, holding the Quick Claw. Because we're not all that fast, we have Magma Armor with Headbutt, Ice Punch, Detect, and Swallow. Next up, we have Asko, our level 11 Charizard, our Flying Water type. <clears throat> uh, Bold Nature with Technician, which powers up Vacuum Wave. We also have Hydro Pump, Poison Gas, and Psy Beam. I guess I can move this around. And lastly, newest to our team, we have Claire, our level 5 Medicham, Ground Psychic type, Careful Nature, with Blaze, with Brick Break, Sludge, Payday, and Mega Kick. So not a very bad moveset for Claire. Now, I feel like we're underleveled. I feel like we're really underleveled. But here's what I'm going to do first. I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item, or not a hidden item, but there's a, like, so, someone in here is going to give me, give me something. They're going to give me something. Now, before we go too far, the question of the day for today's episode, and there's the item I was talking about, the question of the day, which you can see above the game, and again, if you'll comment these question of the days, it helps so much. It helps the series grow so much, and it can help our interaction and growing as a domination if I can get to you, know you guys better as you get to know me better. And we're going to do, what is your favorite pizza? So the last couple days I've had pizza, um, so I'm wondering what your favorite is. Mine, chicken, and bacon. Uh, Domino's, don't, yeah, I get it, but that's okay. That's my favorite. Domino's, sponsor me, please. It makes so much sense. Anyway, let me know what your favorite chick or favorite pizza is in the comments down below. All right, so we got ourselves a great ball. Now, if you put, like, pineapple... If you notice that you can't make further comments on my videos, probably because you put pineapple. I'm just kidding. I don't think I'll do that. But you never know. You, you never know. Okay, I think I have faster. I think I have fastest text enabled through the randomizer. I don't want to go too near the gym. Is there a trade in like one of these buildings? Hold on. Old items. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's read that again. You have a Pokemon called Jump Pluff. Would you be willing to trade for Burmy? See, that's one of those that, like, the randomizer just thinks it's funny. Giving us an absolutely irrelevant... An absolutely irrelevant trade. Who would ever trade a Jump Pluff for a Burmy? Burmy is quite literally the worst Pokemon there is. Is there any worse? I don't think so. Oh, you know what? I just thought about a whole lot better of 
questions that we could have had. And we got ourselves a Dusk Ball. Now, is this randomized? It doesn't appear randomized just yet. Now, I didn't grind before this intentionally because I want to see where our team's going to be going forward. So let's actually head. I'm nervous. Why? I just got nervous all of a sudden. Oh, that's right. I can't save. I forgot. I'm going to put Claire up front just to weaken whatever we managed to get. This is the guy that tells me I can't go because the bike. Okay. All right, our first encounter on Route 207 is a Tauros. Ooh. Okay. How often do you see Tauros used? Let's go for Payday, because I don't want it to be... Oh, that did nothing. Oh, you have False Swipe. I'm going to go for Sludge, because it's not super effective. Or it's not Stab. Now he's poisoned. Shoot. Oh gosh, that did a lot of damage. All right, I gotta switch. Hold on. I'm gonna go into Manali. Oh, I need to get this ready to... Uh... Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna take me out. Oh god, it's gonna... I don't want him to crit that. But let's switch into Osco. All I was doing was trying to get this ready. I'm still paying attention to you, Tauros. I'm trying to get this ready so I can name you. Woo! This Tauros is... Caught it on the first try. Ooh, I like this name. This name's pretty cool. All right, so Tauros is Fire Bug. Which means rock types will annihilate it. Okay, note to self, don't leave this in on the Stantler. Once it takes aim at its foe, it makes a headlong charge. It is famous for its violent nature. We'll give a nickname to Tor. Its nickname will be... Zekomo! So, Zacomo. Oh, uh, it's gonna fade. Not worried about it. Sticky Barb powers up poison type move. I could potentially give that to, uh, Player right now. Interesting, interesting. So, our team is. Oh, and we were holding an item. What were you holding? What were you holding, Tauros? Old Gateau. What does the Old Gateau do? I don't remember what the Old Gateau does. Is that just like something that you could... Heals all status problems of a single Pokemon. So it's a full heal. I feel like if I get it... I feel like Sacred Ash should be the one item that you're a that you're allowed to use. I'm pretty sure this didn't move. Like you didn't see the coal moving in uh in uh diamond and pearl. That's that's a really cool little touch. No, I want items. What are you doing? Anyway, I feel like me getting sick could not have been at a worse time because like I was trying to settle into the series and like trying to I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item. wait I know where the hidden item is it's not on this side I think it's over oh it's not a hidden item is it I think it's just like a well it's hidden but it's like or it's not are these randomized it is why would I find a shoal shell All right, so I guess we're gonna make our way into Orberg Mine, but what I was saying was me getting sick 
could not have happened at a worse time. Okay, first encounter of the Orberg Mine is a Lapras! That's awesome! I would love to catch this Lapras. I'm gonna... This isn't Stab. It is super effective, and he used Belly Drop. That means I'm piecing out of there. I am piecing out of there. Manali, come in. I've almost mo lost Manal Manali, what? Three times now? Sludge? That's not gonna do anything. Except poison me. What else did I expect? Alright, let's see if we can catch this Lapras. Ooh. And the ball, Lapras. Come on. Lapras. <gasps> oh. You won't use Wood Hammer again. You wouldn't use Wood Hammer again, would you? I feel like the Great Ball is justified here. This Lapras. Lapras is a great Pokemon to have. Stay. No! I can't risk it using... I'm about to have to kill it just for the freaking experience. Come on, Lapras. Stay in the ball. Come on. Join our team. Join our team. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Lapras was caught. Let's go! Generate another nail name. We have the Dark Fighting type. So that means Psychic won't be super effective. It won't be effective at all. But that means that Fighting will destroy me. That means Bug will be neutral. It loves crossing the sea with people and Pokemon on its back. It understands human speech. We have Redrick. Why do I feel like that's a name that fits? All right, I'm gonna run back and heal real fast. Now, who stays and who goes? I guess I need to look at... I think right now, I think we have enough encounters that we don't need to go back, catch more. <clears throat> I keep getting sidetracked with everything I'm talking about. Also, I realized, I realized while I was bumping into that, that I could just like go down and come back up where I'm supposed to. <clears throat> Another lap, ooh, a level eight Lapras, Jesus. Alright, hold on. Let me look. Let, let's let's check out let's check out our two new newest members. The Como is a naughty nature with terrible speed, but pretty good other stats. Bad dreams re reduces a sleeping foe's HP. Whoa! Fire Fang, Focus Blast, and False Swipe is fire. Fire Fang is stab. That's awesome. Oh, I thought that was like a Lapras like theme starting. Lapras is dark fighting, impish nature. Look at those defenses. With stall, the Pokemon moves after even slower foes. Even though our speed isn't bad, we'll always move after. That sucks. But that move set. That move set's not terrible. But having I didn't move. Did I move there? Now that's just not right.
All right, I'm letting Oscar lead. <clears throat> Could add a Per Ugly. Per Ugly, yeah, Per Ugly is new to this game. Ooh, you have Drizzle. About to hit you with this Hydro Pump. All right, what do we got here? I found what I thought were rocks, then they started moving. They were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. Everyone that works in the coal mines keep their own Pokemon with them. You may, you may be challenged to battles. Well, shoot. I guess I'm going to go heal again. Would this be smart or stupid to switch train? I guess we're going to find out on our first opponent. Now, who who's definitely going to stay? Are we definitely going to keep Claire with us? Um, what was, I just don't want to switch train if I don't know for sure I'm going to be keeping. I think I want to go into this gym with three or four team members. I think that's the way you're supposed to go if you want to challenge. Since we're doing a Nuzlocke, I'm going to go around the other way. Now wait, this isn't a different area, is it? Hold the phone. The game's going to pause. The audio's going to pause. But I wasn't... I looked away from the screen for a second. Actually, if I do this, we'll keep going. Nope. We'll not keep going. So, let me go to... Pokey Earth. So... Orberg Gate. No, I'm not in Orberg Gate. South exit was Orberg Mine. Okay, so it's all the same. Okay, got it. These are level nine wild Pokemon. At these Machop on Route 207, they become my most entrusted partners. Is that this game's way of saying that I should go to Route 207 to get? I could have had an Electivire! Alright, let's fight. I'm gonna go ahead and train up Osco right now. Yeah, these guys are level 10, like... I just vacuum waved a Duskull. And almost kit. Oh! Can we not play this Sacred Fire game again? If you didn't watch Emerald, you don't know the struggle of getting hit with the Sacred Fire every other turn. Every other turn. Minimum. Minimum. Not a Toxic Orb. What the heck? Okay. Let's take this moment to talk about fossils. When we find a fossil for the first time, we're going to revive it for whatever it is. If I find another root fossil, because you can just find those as items, I'm gonna use that as a token to whatever area I wanna go to attempt to re-encounter something. For example, if I wanted the Electivire that's in Oraberg Mine, I would say I'm gonna use this root fossil token now and then whatever encounter I get immediately afterwards is the encounter I get. If it's dupes, obviously I can re-encounter, etc., etc. If you're watching this, I imagine you understand that. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's go ahead and battle this guy. I think our timing is working out flawlessly. Rainer Pie with a Bagon, level 7. What Pokemon would I really like to see? Who was the Gen 4 pseudo-legendary? It was Garchomp. Would I like to see a Garchomp? Garchomp's overplayed. Oh no, you disabled my not very effective move. How about this one?
What? Oh, I thought that poisoned me. I'm just gonna blow him away. I love this music. Also, I hope it's synced up, because if it's not synced up, you're gonna know right then and there. Alright. Why do I feel like we find Huntail at the beginning? No, we found Gorobus at the beginning of Emerald. All right, here we go. Okay. Rourke, I imagine Rourke is like actually my age. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could win, get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. And he walks away. That's it. So I think that's my clue that I'm supposed to go to the gym now. Do I battle our rival again? I don't know. I'm not going to peek. I'm not going to peek. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out of here. I thought there would be more trainers than this. There are only two trainers in here. But Osco... Osco and Manali are level 12. Wait, I got a root fossil. I can go revive it right now. I can go revive it right now. What am I doing? This will give us... I think we, have, I think we still have a Hypno in the... See or something, but I study Pokemon fossils right here and now. Oh, from fossils, I can extract Pokemon, but not yet. Not yet. Oh, my heart. Okay, I can't do it yet. I can't do it just yet. So we're just gonna we're gonna stay in the Pokemon Center. All right. Now oh, let's go into let's go up to the PC. Should I look up what levels they're going to be? Or does that make it less fun? I don't want to live those with that moment. All right, let's do let's do this. Let's do this. So these guys are level 12. My party members are level 12. I think I should get them to level 15. You know what? I'm going to peek. I'm only going to peek at the first gym. I don't think I'll peek at the rest. Wait. Maybe I will. Let me know what you think. Is this cheating? I just want to make sure that I don't get absolutely blown away. Where? So, I fully expect... You know what? Let's go to level... Wait, how many Pokemon? Okay, I'm gonna say I want to have four Pokemon. And I want them to be at level 13. Yeah. No. Two at level 12, two at level 13. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll do two at level 12, two at level 13. So I just have to decide on the two that's going to come with. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode right there, though. And I'm going to decide this off screen before I do my grinding montage. So to start the next episode, there will be a grinding montage where you can see who we've picked to join our team. Or you can just check out the next episode where we're going to be taking on Rourke for our first gym in Sinnoh. If you enjoyed today's episode exploring around Orberg City and Orberg Mine, make sure you hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the domination of the Pokemon community. While you're at it, make sure you comment the question of the day, which is, quite simply and for fun, what kind of stuff do you like on your pizza? What kind of pizza do you get when you get to order the pizza? And we'll see you in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum, our severely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.